Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld, where I had an idea. Got to passing over this and saw it was quite warm inside there. It's because the geothermal was out a lot of heat. I've got a hole in the roof to let loose that heat um, right there, so the heat is exhausting out. Um, yeah, you can see that when it's it was just venting, and so the heat really escalates, and then it gradually drops off again. We could tap that heat for the winter time and dump it into this room here and not have to rely on this as much. As soon as it gets to 70 or more, this will just turn off. So I sent Tomislav up here to uh, to, to take care of this. Um, you thought you were resting. Uh-huh. Let's... Actually, I can do it this way. I won't have to, to queue it up to be cut down because doing the wall means cutting it down. Then you can take that wood, maybe, and fill in the rest of this. Hmm. Sounds good to me. Let's see if it works that way. Nope, it didn't. It was must, it must have been an immature tree. It had no wood in it. Mm hmm. Well, we'll work on that later. You got to get to bed. I asked Handy to quickly get this going, and then she probably headed off to bed. Uh, she's gonna grab a meal. Tomislav, how's your food? You could use one too. You are okay. I thought you were heading off to bed. You're gonna consume fine meal as well. Yep, that works. And you two will both probably go call it a night. Yep. Okay, so Rabbit is still out hauling a a uh, a carcass in. And Klaus is as well, bringing all these things in while we can. It's midnight, so that's probably their last haul, right? It's not. Um, needs... You're ready for a rest. You got plenty of food. So Rabbit, where did you go? Right there. Let's cancel and you head to bed. Taking a fine meal and resting. Good. Klaus, you've still got one more queued up for you. We'll cancel that. Alicia as well. Let's get you into here and we'll cancel all of these commands I've got laid out. Mississippi, you can continue because you're the night owl. You'll be out through the night. Natalia is butchering like crazy. And questioning that. Actually, you're making kibble. Okay, that's better. An animal takes up one space, but it can have more than 50 meat, or 75 meat, right? What's the meat on a meat amount 79? So, butchered, that deer takes more than one space. So, hesitant to butcher them too quickly and take up more space in the, in the freezer than we need. So, Alicia, let's cancel you. Let you go ahead and take care of your needs and head to bed. Yeah, you'll be fine meal-wise. Uh, Klaus, same thing. Drop that off. And you are carrying and consuming a fine meal. Okay. Let's see. Sangria, you are resting. Heading home from... Don't know what. You just... You were hauling this one and just decided it was time to go to bed. Okay, well, I'm sure a, a pig or a dog will get a hold of that tomorrow. Um, your room, now that the heater is going is up to 76 degrees so we're we're good temperature wise in here and look at all the z's coming out of that room wow um temperatures we were kind of maintaining in here until that cold snap yet so indoors for 54 degrees 53 outside we are negative 13 so yeah we're gonna drop hard so if we could get this one done that'll help this one the what will be the double greenhouse so it's going to need a little bit more of a boost it probably need a, a second heater for the worst of the winter this one a heater and a campfire and we're at 59 58 we're we're going to drop in here too indoors we are holding at 70 where we're supposed to be bedrooms should be a few degrees less well, that's quite a few degrees less 61 yeah floating around in there we did get double doors in here and I got to staring at this a little bit when they were bringing all of the animals in which was what I was doing in between episodes for the most part they just kept letting burst of cold after burst of cold in and just making this trip over and over and over again I was thinking let's separate this out let's let them dump into the freezer without bringing the freezer into the into the uh, colony here so I think that's gonna be a lot better we're at around 70 degrees doing a lot of uh, bouncing up and down there took this door out and took this door out okay so now we're communicating the entire hallway which then through vents right there there and all of these 
So let's all that heat into the bedrooms. Michael, you are making kibble. Needs... You just got up. It's four in the morning. So you must have gone to bed early. You must have been exhausted. How are you guys doing? Our potential new colonists. Got to worrying. Simple meals have rotted away in storage. Storage is 18 degrees. Frozen and, you know, won't spoil. How do they rot away in storage? storage unless that's storage over here I had set that to simple meals because we ran out of the prepackaged ones but Sean Tigo is back on the job let's see if I can get you there still isn't enough meat in here ah I guess we're turning it all into a kibble okay Kathra consuming a fine meal and Michael you're making kibble okay so Sean Tigo maybe first thing Where'd you go? There you are. You are cooking a fine meal. Let's get you to butcher. Let's make some meat. And let's get that stockpiled into here and then get it used up this this uh, this day. All right. Well, cold snap, we never did read it last time. An unusual cold snap is set in. Cold snaps can quickly kill by hypothermia. Be sure to build a heated space to survive. Wear appropriate apparel and try to harvest crops before they die, freeze and die. And that's what we are in the midst of. Didn't say how many days it would last, did it? Hmm, didn't say usually lasts for such and such. Kathra, you are into cleaning. So with that, let's put you go into butchering. <clears throat> and Shantigo, let's haul 72 meat to that space right there. All right. And the rest of this will freeze out here until it eventually gets brought in. Um, Kathra is butchering. You decided to go after that one. When this was right next to you. Huh. I don't even have words to explain that one. <laughs> okay. Whatever. So, let's see. These can be torn down here. There. Yeah, I think that will work. And that starts to form our little alcove here. In fact, this can be torn down here and replaced. All to... Where's the pathway? To right here. So all of those can be replaced. And with, with the uh, granite blocks while we're... Uh, while they're not sleeping in it. So let's kind of make that happen. Well... Three, the four that I would want to use to, to do that are all still asleep. So let's try to remember that as they get up. <clears throat> Otherwise, last thing on my notes are turtle and rat target practice. Hmm. And that's kind of for the ones that, as long as there's no raid right now, maybe I should let them all go out there. Let's pause and think about that. The ones that are with pistols that have got lower shooting skills and you just need to go out there and do some target practice, you know, plunk cans or, you know, or turtle shells. That would be Sangria. Hmm. Let's turn you off there, turn you on to hunt. And Natalia. Right there. Um, Missipi. Sure. And Kathra. I'm thinking Kathra and Alicia. If that group takes off, otherwise not part of that is Handy Klaus Michael. They've all got some pretty good skills. Rabbit does. Shantigo's the one in the middle. He's the eight. What am I looking for here? An eight, whereas the other ones are fives down to two. And the rest of them are ten up to fourteen. So Shantigo, you need to be part of this too. Except I really want some more of the of the package meals done. Yeah. Why don't you continue then? Sorry to not include you, but we need to get something over here for those times that I forget that we have prisoners and I've got Klaus assigned to do other things and I get this notice of starvation that pops down and <laughs> it's like, oh, that's right, we got prisoners over there. So I really need a group of meals in here, but I don't want it to be our fine meals. I'm thinking it's it's got to be something like the packaged meals, which I have set for 10 of. I've got another stockpile set over here to, to grab a whole bunch more, hoping that nobody will be down in here and that'll be the closest meal for them to be uh, assigned to when they suddenly want a meal. Hmm. 
So if I were to take you up to oh, 20, so make, maintain 20 of those. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll do that. So the other ones are going to be hunting, and I kind of want to make that happen real soon. Let's look at this again. What else is prior to hunt that's going to take this away? Klaus, you're fine. So Michael Cook will take you to a t no. You're you're on. You're not on the hunt duty there. So no other ones prior to any of these. Okay, that's fine. So let's think about what to hunt and queue them all up. Let's zoom out a little bit and work on that squirrel first. I don't think we have to worry about squirrel revenge. I'm hoping we don't have to worry about squirrel revenge. So they are fast little critters. Now there was a turtle down in here last episode, if I remember correctly. Don't know where he snuck off to though, unless he went off the map right here. We purposely left him so that he could be target practice. There's still a, an occasional deer or two out here. And whoever's on butchering duty, like Michael, <laughs> is going to get to weave in and around a whole bunch of practicing shootists. That will be um, exhilarating. Yeah. I'm seeing no animals, except for boom rats. Wow. I mean, one cold snap and everybody leaves? Interesting. I'm not going after the pigs with this group. They can run fast. Raccoons? 3.8. Let's do the raccoons. About like that, and down, and double. The two of them. Okay. Hunt those two. What else is up here? Pigs? I know it'd be easier to spot them if I let the game run and just see them moving around. But we're 7 in the morning. I like to give them the entire day to go hunting, and some of them are going to sleep here in a little bit. So I want to give them a chance right now to go hunting. We're not going to go near this wolf or the ibex in case they trigger them. Um, not that. Needs... Actually, you're safe for a while, but still, if they accidentally shoot an ibex or a wolf, we're, we've got a uh, number of colonists that are going down. Uh, the fox is also quite quick for this group. Let's hold off on them. There have got to be more squirrels and rats and and uh, turtles on this map Did they really vacate that fast there were several of them while we were out doing this hunt that's just been you know through the night hmm okay well if there's more there i don't know where they why do we pause oh come on a siege during a cold snap well, I want my folks to be able to go practice hunting. <sighs> okay. Best laid plans. Turn down the hunts. These go away. Let's just make everybody a three at the highest there so nobody goes out hunting. It was possible that somebody's already got the, the command. What have we got here? A group of pirates from the saws. Boy, I tell you, these saws are getting quite annoying. Have arrived nearby. It looks like they want to besiege the colony and pound you with mortars from a distance. You can try to wait them out or go get them. Jump to. They're coming out over here. I wonder if they're going north or south. They're going south. They're going to besiege us from this area here. Interesting. Well, I guess we get to uh, give our mortars a chance to you know, see what those are like. And see if Beta 18 has improved the aim ability. I did read a little bit about them when I was trying to figure out how the heck you load a different shell in one right here. And um, it said that the operator, the, the shooting accuracy of the operator has no bearing upon the accuracy of the, of the machine. So that was a surprise. I've always tried to toss good accuracy or good shooters into uh, operate these things in, in previous uh, let's plays and, and apparently that doesn't do any good or no longer does any good. Do we have anybody outside? That's kind of what I'm aimlessly wandering around thinking about while I'm trying to finish my sentences. Okay, we're all in here. All right, well, mm, okay. Then if anybody can operate them, I'm gonna, I need to send snipers out and other people to just start lobbing shells. And it's cold, 
with the potential of snow off and on through the winter and through the cold snap, maybe. I think we'll go ahead and load incendiaries into both. High explosive incendiary. We'll leave one random. We'll set both. But this one's going to be just incendiary. And we've got 12 and 11. Okay. So that's really six, six shots off of each one. And then one can continue with these if, if needed. So maybe we can get a total of eight or nine rounds out of each one that way. All right. There's that. Our animals... They're not dangered just yet. Eventually we'll have mortar shells coming in if we don't stop them first. In which case, it could hit right here and take out all the animals at once. So there is no real safe place for them during a siege. I don't know if RimWorld still allows things to come crashing in under a mountain. It used to do that, and that used to feel so wrong that you're under this big mountain and suddenly a shell can penetrate everything and land right there in your bedroom. So hopefully that is no longer a thing, but we'll see. Um, really, we just don't want to give them the chance to even try. So I need snipers, which means I need probably, well, hmm. I'm thinking that I need Klaus and Rabbit at least. Handy as well. Do I bring Tomislav? Tomislav, your run speed is a 4.8. Handy, you are still a 4.7. 4.88 now. Uh, Klaus, you are a 4.49. And again, that's what Tomislav was too, right? Yeah, basically. And then Rabbit, you are 3.59. Because you're really, really hungry? Where's needs? Could be. Hunger may play a, a role there. Okay. Um, let's look at that again. So, Tomislav. Ah, that one needs. Alright, so, need a meal. Rest is almost done. Handy, same. Rabbit, same. Klaus, ish. You could go a little longer. Do you have, you have a meal with you? Okay. Um, Michael needs. I'm thinking about his is uh, trigger happy with a sniper when it really really counts i don't know if i want to do that i think i'd rather have him with an assault rifle ready to man the gauntlet when they when they or else be out over here trying to shoot them as we're running past kind of a you know a distraction to get these guys back in kind of like that idea and yeah we're, we're on pause we're going to stay here a while you only get a little bit of time to wipe out a siege before it gets up and going and it's lobbing shells all into your base. So we're going to make the best of every second. So Rabbit, all of you guys, Tomislav can grab a meal. We have no lavish. That I took that further down the list so we can get back to making the uh, the other ones um, as well. The prepackaged survival meals. Shantigo is up and about. Leave him alone. Klaus... You hop up, and Michael is already up and about, right? Yeah, making kibble. He's right out here somewhere. Okay, so Sangria, let you sleep. Alicia, let you sleep. Don't need anybody else right now. And I just need to be aware of everyone's going to start wandering out on their own. We still have a few folks that are going to want to butcher, and that means they're going to want to head out and you know pick this up. So I'm going to have to kind of just keep an eye on them. I don't want to shut them down. What did I press? F. There we go. I thought I was on my WASD, but I was off by one. All right, so these guys need to come in while we are eating and then swapping out weapons for snipers. Let's... Who do I watch? Where are you guys going? You're taking your time. We'll figure out who's who in a little bit. But I need to make sure that as they finish, they immediately go for their rifles and get walking. Okay, Rabbit, you already have a sniper. You have got a great shot. You're going where? I'd say you're going here, for starters. You were... I want to make sure you weren't going to pick up a meal. I didn't, don't think you were. Gear, no, you've got one. Anybody else down here does not have one. Handy does not have one. Tomislav does not. Klaus does. So I need to not interrupt Handy and Tomislav as he goes to take a fine meal. So Klaus is the next one I will interrupt. 
where are you guys going? You walked past one and just nonchalantly slipped it into your pocket and kept going. Uh-huh, so you can go play chess. <laughs> All right, Tomislav, come on up in here and draft and grab a normal uh, sniper rifle. Okay, Andy, you did grab a meal as well. You are going to draft and come grab a normal sniper rifle. Hey, yeah, right there. Uh, equip. And Klaus is wearing a muffalo leather pants. Sure. Are they brown? <laughs> nope. He, he's confident. All right. He's, he's, he doesn't need a disguise. Okay. In that case, why don't you grab this guy when you're done with that? Okay. So that is the three of them with Rabbit already on his way. I could then position you guys after that. Let's... Oh, no. So Klaus has not been drafted. The other ones have. So Handy, when you're done with that, then you're going to come out here and meet up with Rabbit. And Tomislav, you're going to come up here and meet up as well. Okay. You guys are receiving your supplies. There's meals. There's shells. No incendiaries. Just the uh, high explosives. I mean, they do a lot of damage, but at least they're not going to immediately burst our whole place into fire. And we've got the position of the mortars you're going to build, the steel it takes to build it, the components it take to, takes to build it, and eventually you're going to lay out a bunch of, of sandbags and build a little protection area. Okay, and we're near water, and we're near mud. Mud's going to slow them down walking around, which they have to walk around through to get to build both of these. That's good, and sandbags and whatnot. And when we light this whole area on fire, it's not necessarily going to spread too far. It's just going It's going to be partially contained to the area. Okay, that's all looking pretty good. Klaus, you are equipping a sniper rifle. Once you do that, I've got to... All right. Okay, you're heading that way. I'm going to send you to here as well. <clears throat> now... Where are you guys going, and where is everybody else at the moment? Yuta's over there. I don't think they're going to shoot any of our animals that are coming up as far as right here to pick up the uh, the kills from the hunt. I think at this point they're still fairly safe. Okay. Otherwise, are we heading out into here? We're not. Uh, we're pretty much staying around base for now. Okay. That'll be fine. So, what to do with you guys? I'm seeing some good places in here and a, an escape place right there. I'm glad I put these doors in. Okay. And I didn't have to say, oh man, I wish I got up here and rebuilt this. So that's that's not going to come into play this time. Good. Um, so we can shoot out of there. We can shoot out of here. Potentially here. We'll see what the range looks like. Um, who are we shooting? What is, what is our our challenge here. Everybody is here that's going to be here. Yeah. Seems like there were more before. But I guess not. Alright, we have a Jenny. Who is female? Good. Their names don't always mean that in this game. Character. Um, cannot shoot or anything. And has a heavy SMG which is not very accurate to begin with. Right. So, 22, 36, 63, close. Okay, so Jenny is not an issue. We have a sniper on Steiner's female. Um, just looking things over here. Character knows how to use that sniper rifle, too. With passion. Okay, need to worry about Steiner's. Hayden, cave kid, 18 years old, with a LMG. Difference between an SMG and an LMG. Light machine gun. Accuracy. There we are. 224164. Kind of similar. I think it was 2238 and 61 or something like that on the last one. So fairly similar. Um, you know how to use it? Not really. In fact, not at all. Okay, so you're fine. Um, in here we've got Bowman Pilot. Shooting of 13 with a heavy SMG. Did that change the gun's accuracy by your knowledge of how to use it? 2339. 
67 compared to Jenny SMG. 22, 36, 63. Didn't change it very much. So it does affect it a little bit. And hers is a normal. And who is that right here? Bowman is a good. So his is better and he's got more skill. And it didn't really up the percentages more than one or two. Interesting. I thought it would have more effect than that. But apparently not. I guess the, the kickback of the gun is the kickback of the gun. It's just going to make it not very accurate. You are Shen. You have a machine pistol. And you kind of know how to use it, too. So you're the one to worry about up close in the gauntlet. Shen is going to quick draw and probably hit her target. Rosalina, female. Can shoot a little bit. Has a, a good sniper. Okay. Uh, down in here, Schmidt, Jailbird, female. Are these all girls? Kind of looks that way. Do we have a guy in the bunch? You look like teenage female. Okay. We've got a pirate band of ladies that have come against us. And one guy named Tater. <laughs> okay. Tater knows how to shoot. So he's, of course, got a poor quality wooden mace. Guys, let me know, in Beta 18, are they able to, if they lose their weapon or something like that, are they ever able to pick up another weapon and utilize it? Is there ever any danger of that, swapping weapons out from an enemy? Anyway, uh, 9 in melee, so we're not going to be going up against you melee, that's for sure. Um, did I get to Sky? I don't know if I did, but Sky has got a poor sniper, but knows how to aim that thing. And we've got over here Pain. Teenage female, age 16, with a bolt action rifle, good quality, and a shooting skill of 6. Um, so long distance, we want to take out this one. Steiners, 12 with a sniper. We want to get a surprise shot into Steiners, because once she locks into us, we're not going to be able to turn around the corner and shoot anymore. Yeah. Hmm. Now, fast run speed. Who is going to come after us? And this is the part that is kind of frustrating to check out because it takes so long to go from person to person. But who is going to chase us back to the gauntlet and beat us there? So, who is more than a 4.49? 4.56. Um, no obvious reason why. Okay. Um, over here... 4.48, right in there. Same. Just kind of work my way through all these. So, so far, nobody's really standing out. 4.58, that's not that much different when we've got a, a head start. 4.2, right here. 3.9. So, so far, 3.1, there's no person we've got to take out just for fear they're going to catch us before we can get back. All right, we're all pretty average here. Okay, so really we need to take out the best shooters, if we can. Then we need to take out the mortars, that'd be great too. But really, if we can just reduce half of you guys, you'll abandon the mortars. And, and uh, actually not half. Half, they, I believe, they will leave completely. So it must be you know 25%, and they will abandon the mortars and start their siege. So whether you want to keep tapping these things with guns, which is just a delay factor, they're going to go right back up and repair them again. Or take out the take out the people who are going to operate them. That's what I prefer to do. All right, then we kind of know who and what we're up against. Um, what I need to know is the range. And again, a sniper is 45, right? Gear, sniper, range, 45. What is 45 from you guys? So from about here. 41. So right there should start to get into this camp. Right here is likely and right here they're within the range of the other snipers. That space and this space. There's nowhere else I can go. If they start to scatter and move around we can get to here. Hmm. Okay. Well we do have a good solid barrier between us. Alright. So Handy you head up into here. Like all, all of you guys, 
let's go up this direction. That is U4 right there. So you come on up into this void over here and we'll spread out from there. Okay, bringing supplies over and we're already building. Wow, okay. Let's get, uh, that's what I should have already done. Let's get some mortar operators. So Sangria's gonna need a meal soon. Who else is around? Cathra, needs. You're in great shape. Congratulations. Put down your butcher knife. You get to go throw fire. Right there. This mortar, already loaded, right? Installed mortar. Um, minimum range is 30. So a mortar will not let you shoot within this range. It has to pop up in the air and come down, and that's the closest it can drop. It's the outer range, which doesn't even show up on the map now. Yeah, it goes... I don't know if you put the mortar in this very corner if you would catch an outer range. Does it give me a sense of final outer range? It doesn't. So I guess it's meant to span the entire map. Okay. But there is a minimum range, so you can't shoot within there. But we can say set forced target. I want this particular mortar to hit grass. We'll just pop in right about there. And this other mortar, let's see if we can take out the, uh, the other mortar cannons. So you, let's get somebody on it first. Who else would love to have the job here? Michael, mm, you got this guy though. I think I want to use you to help bring our people in. So let's leave you free and available. Who is not where they should be? Let's go that route. Nobody down in here? Just Utah. Okay. <clears throat> so Natalia is going to be going to bed soon. Making high explosive shells. That's a good idea. Thank you. Um, Isabel is a dog. I'm looking for names. I'm only seeing Kathra and Michael. And then who's left? Alicia's still in bed. Needs, food, you're basically there. Let's get your day started. Let's do that. Miss P is heading down into here. I could not get them to mine this gold, and I finally real, realized why. These three spots were completely blocking the pathway. They, it was, it was you know, sending them into deep water. So she's just now finally gotten to where she can go and play with gold. Um, she's going to be going to bed soon, so there's no point in recruiting her for mortars. So, and I want Shantigo available to, tell you what, I'm going to forget these guys exist and they're going to starve to death. So let's go ahead and reset their meals to fine as well. In fact, we'll just say all meals. Whatever is available will come this way. We'll reset that later, but I'm going to make sure they can eat while we're off playing war. So that takes care of that issue. And I guess, Michael, you are going to be doing this until. So hop into this one, man it, and this one will be aimed at. Hmm. If I, if I tell it to aim here, historically that means that's the only place it won't hit. If I tell it to hit right in the middle, there's a 50-50 chance it's going to go long or short and actually hit one of those mortars. I'm going there. I think the odds are the best right there. <laughs> because it's RimWorld and it's a mortar. And that's kind of the uh, the running joke of RimWorld. Yeah, you cannot trust the mortars. Um, and this time we're not going to turn on turrets until they are just about ready to breach the gauntlet. I don't think it'll come to that point. But we're not going to get shot in the back again. Okay, so is there anything else to prepare for? I don't think there is. Do we get any sense of our animals running through here? No. And out here, one over there. Going for steel, most likely. Marble blocks. Okay, they are going for them. Up in there. There's a little bit left. They've been working on this. Okay. You guys, over here... You guys are in place, and Catherine made it there, did not. She's, they're both on their way. Okay. All right, what are you guys going to do? Klaus, let's go here. Handy, you're going there. Tomislav, where to put you? Rabbit, I think you're down in here. Hmm. I only have three good places. If I put somebody over here, 
there's always the risk, though I think the odds are very low with Klaus's skill, of him leaning out and shooting through and actually hitting. But if they start shooting back at us, he's trapped. You can try to run the gap and hope that, you know, a timer didn't finish just as he ran through. So let's put Tomislav there. And let's see how he interacts with that. By not touching the wall, he's not going to automatically lean out. If I put him out here, he's not going to automatically lean in. So i got to see just what to do there. But with that, Handy did not automatically step out there. So you're both going to go there. Klaus already has a bead on. Don't know. But he's just started, which means now's the best time to give him a target. Um, his range is only right there, so now we know who he's aiming at. He's taken out the one that's... Oh, I reset you accidentally. Break. Okay. So he's taken out the one that is building this, and that's actually kind of smart. All right. Rabbit. Let's let you guys further get into position. Right there. Handy does not have a target. So Handy, pop into that space. Wow. Klaus. He just hit the wall next to Handy. Okay, well, Rabbit, you've got several in range, and you guys are watching for targets. No, you're wandering. Okay, your sky, let's go here. You need to be taken down. Rabbit, I need you specifically to aim at sky. You might already be, but I need to make sure that that is your target. Handy, hmm, I don't see this happening. Klaus, I'm going to have to put you there. Handy, I'm going to have to put you there. And Tomislav right behind her. And see if you guys can get a, an aim at something. You are already shooting. You know how to use it a little bit. And you're already going to have a beat on them because you started your aim before they did. Oh, that's the problem with snipers firing at snipers. Okay. So in that case, all of you guys unfortunately have to stand down. Handy, you're staying in there. You two are going over here. Rabbit, it's all yours at the moment. Let's see if you can take out Sky before she realizes she's being aimed at. This one dropped. As soon as they, that one starts to wander, we can try again. You are ready to fire at Rabbit. You have got a little bit of skill. That's Schmidt. You... It was this one over here. Um, uh, that one. Yeah, so both are fours. Okay. Well, I'm going to let this one continue. Let's see what Rabbit can do. Yeah. Where's that going? Where's it going? Missed. And made contact. Rabbit did it. What do we have? We have... Wow. Wow. That sniper did multiple damage. Left clavicle, left shoulder. Okay. Which took out... Which weakened manipulation and moving. Okay. So it slowed you down quite a bit too. To a 3.36. Okay. Well, that was helpful. I hope that would help lower the, the aim, right? Let's try that. Um, character gear. That's what I want. So your sniper now... Has an accuracy of 74, 73, 73 compared to Rabbit's accuracy of 97, 95, 95. Okay. Still, 73 is pretty darn accurate. You really want to take that next shot. So, Rabbit, you're going to step aside. Are you still watching for targets? Wandering? None of them are. Okay. Let's try this one more time. Handy, step out into there. Tomislav, go right behind her. Klaus, dive into there. Let's see if we can't do a little damage here. We already have a mortar ready to fire. Our mortars are going to be in countdown mode. Oh, we've got a shot going off. Someone just fired. That would be Michael. There's no more countdown. Over here, Kathra is going to fire in 28 seconds. So... Michael is fired. Let's see where this goes. Are these guys over here doing anything? Not loaded. So got to go get a bullet first. A big bullet. And you're wondering. Nobody acts like they are. 
operating turret, NG, with a sniper rifle, and knows kind of how to use it, is going to be operating. Two reasons to take you out. Okay, mortar coming in. Oh, man. Okay, they did both fire. Okay, interesting. This shot was fired, too. I didn't see that one coming. Um, Klaus, can you, like, <laughs> dodge that thing? <laughs> oh, and what happened here? I mean, a lot happened here. What was that noise? I didn't... I heard a noise. I didn't see a message. Did you guys see a message? Anyway, that scared the bejeebies out of it, except for this one. Steiners. Yeah, you got bloodlust. You got a little excited about that whole thing. We took out... Rosalina, we took out. Actually, Rosalina is downed. Okay, we took out Hayden with a LMG. Who else has got little X's by them? All right, so we've taken out one and downed one. So there's two out of one, two, three, four. If I double click over here, various. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11. 2 out of 11 are down. Okay, great shooting, guys. And we completely destroyed a turret. Wow. Didn't light anything on fire, though. But, yeah, aiming for the middle took out the turret behind. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've, I've played this before. Yeah. Um, okay, so who shot that gun? And that apparently freaked them all out. There is, you're still watching for targets. I thought that would have completely uh, wiped out your ability to think. Apparently not. Um, Rabbit, darn, you're watching for targets though. You guys just stay hidden for a little bit. Let's let all the freakouts do their their job here. Oh 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 oh! You got a fire. You got a shot off. All right. First of all, nobody's walking toward. Watch them for targets. No, nobody's walking toward us. What's this going to do? You're heading where? You're heading for the gauntlet. You're heading for the mortars, and you're darn close. Yeah. You guys get into the room. Various. Cathra. Go there. Draft. Go there. Michael, draft, go there. It's probably too late, but let's see if we can't minimize things. This may stop short, it may go past. Animals, we got a couple in there. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It's destruction. It's not fire but it eliminated a lot of our weapons. Okay, so the armory with the mortars may not have been the best idea. Um, you guys took the damage just fine. So I think it was Lady Shell that was freaking out that I had the shells out in here loose. So um, yeah, thank you. <laughs> you guys. Go tell him what for. Man, steel mortar. Cathra, man, steel mortar. All right. I need to take out that mortar operator. You are operating turret. I need somebody. You are wandering. I need all three of you guys. You're already shooting. Klaus, somebody got in range, but I need you right there. And I need to know, and Rabbit, right there. There. I need to see if any of you can reach him. Boom. Klaus, range, take out this one. Rabbit, you're not going to have a line of sight. No. Okay. So in that case, take out the sniper right there. Fire at Schmidt. That's a Schmidt, who is already ready, aiming and firing. But we've got to get this done. You guys, that's Klaus being aimed at. Handy, you are probably going after Jenny. And we've got another sniper over here that's getting ready to fire. And 
knows how to use it. Oh, man. Klaus, you're dead. Can't do that. Okay, can't do it. Klaus, you're there. You two are here. Stand down. Cannot risk this 11 hitting you and taking the damage that a sniper rifle can take. Hmm. And, Klaus, if I put you right there... Rabbit, you are a target of... Yeah, you are. Your timer's there. Your timer's there. There's going to be another another uh, game of chicken here. You can't do anything. You are also aiming at... <sighs> Pull back. From there, Klaus, you've got a bead on. And you start it over. You are still continuing after Rabbit. You're going to pull back completely. And you start it over. Okay, it's just the two of you. This thing is going to fire in 24 seconds. Ours are going to fire... It's like a big game of chess, you know. In 18 seconds and 15 seconds. And we're going to aim both of you. Can I choose both of you. I can. Set target for a little bit closer in. Maybe one of you can get close to hitting this group and take out that operator. I can't get you guys to do it. Now Klaus has the the bead on them. I just don't know who he's, who he's aiming at. He's going to receive that bullet. There's no way around that. Unfortunately, I gotta pull you back. That skill level is just too high to risk it. Hmm, a little bit of a standoff here. Not much I can do here. It's really a mortars game now. Let's let them launch and see what what happens. All right, you guys, 13 seconds, 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Do we want Rosalina? Not really. Skilled labor, incapable of skilled labor, carrying social firefighting. Can work with animals, and that's about it. Sanguine, chemical interest, health. Now, it's not incapable of dumb labor, so it could be our permanent cleaner, which sounds good in a game of RimWorld, but it doesn't sound good in a Noble Rambler RimWorld series where everybody wants to be a hero up here. So that's why I don't accept all the characters. You know, interesting ones. We've got some rather interesting ones in here, but ones that just are going to be committed to doing nothing but cleaning for the rest of the series. No one really wants to be that character. Okay, we should have hit just about five seconds now. Two seconds, five. All right, let's watch the launch. There, and Cathra launches. Boom, and boom. All right, let's see what happens here. Your launch is going to be when? 1.7 seconds, you're gonna get it off. Even if we hit it, it's good. Although not necessarily, there was a spread. Oh, yeah. Made contact, but it didn't destroy. But, I hope that wasn't too loud in the mic, sorry. <laughs> we, stopped the, we stopped the attack because the operator is now on fire. Oh, good. Now, unfortunately, Rosalina is on fire. Or are you sitting on top of a uh, of a steam geyser? Don't know, but Michaels went long over there. Okay, a lot of folks are on fire, and they're they're a little uh, um, distracted right now. Though this thing is ready to fire the second somebody steps in there and takes over. So we most likely have another shell coming. Um, watching for targets, wandering. Okay, um, other snipers. You were one sniper, and you know, you're not thinking about shooting anymore. You are wandering. Everybody's wandering now. Let's see if we can't do a little more damage. Klaus, jump to here. Handy, go here. 
Tomislav, back her up, and Rabbit, dive down. Let's just take somebody out. Does anybody instantly go into ready mode? I'm not... You, you moved. Wandering. You, wandering. You, wandering. We've got the upper hand this time. Except you two haven't found a target. Okay. Then you are going to go up a notch, and you're going up a notch. Let's see if you guys can find a target also. With that, what do we have? We have fires being put out. We have people being put out. We still have just the one downed. Okay. You. No. Right there. Wandering. Let's do this. Anybody? There it is. Who fired? That would be Klaus. Klaus is coming in to somebody right over here. I think he needs to pull out because he's the next target. Let's just head to there. Rabbit has got to beat on somebody. And you're the only one still, right? Yes. Now, are you operating? You're beating out fire. You are wandering. You are beating out fire. That's why I like the incendiaries. They're too concerned about protecting their home zone to continue firing. We have a bullet coming in. Where is it going to hit? I hope it hits you. Oh, I hope it hits you. Didn't. Hit the ground. And you two are still ready to fire, but you're going to be a target. Got to get you out of there. Rabbit could be a target next, although there's no line of sight there. Target's Rabbit's targeting this one. Um, rabbit, there, and target. I'm pretty sure you're going there, not here. Stood down. No, you continue. You started over again after Rabbit, who is ready to fire right now. Let's see who you get. Oh, headshot. If it wasn't, it sure looked like it. Um, health. You're the one you hit before. Right arm went out, and you're just gone. Dead. Okay. Freaked everybody out again. I'm surprised that didn't break them. Really am. So with that, you are wandering. Rabbit, you just keep right on aiming. Let's get these guys back into this. Klaus, you're going there. Tomislav, you're going there. Both of you. I think, I think you'll have an aim. You immediately start aiming. You do. All three of you and Rabbit. And who has noticed us out of who's left? Schmidt has. Character, four. You might hit. You're aiming up here where your bullet can really can't miss somebody. Hmm. Let's toss you guys aside and then send you right back in. See if we can keep you bouncing in and out of that aim while Rabbit does his job. Okay. You're now restarting over Rabbit. If I send you back into here... Oh, come on. Just give me a pattern that works. Tomislav. Okay. You're there. You're there. Kind of there. Okay. Do you immediately start re-aiming at them next? Nope. Okay. Then, Rabbit. Can this guy hit Rabbit? You are aiming as well. Well, that's just changed everything there a little bit. Let's send you that way. And you two are the only ones? No, we've got another one over here. Steiner, who knows how to shoot, is now picked up the scent. Okay, well, we're repairing this one. We're not shooting it. Okay. Um, mm. Tomasaw probably has the most cover. I'm curious. If I click you, what do I get? That means, who can you hit, right? Shopa Tomislav cannot hit. This one? Alright, so in that case, let's... Steiner. Steiner? Steiners. You have the odds of hitting Klaus. 91% chance, if I'm reading that right. No cover. Shot by Steiner, 27%. Okay, shot by standard 27%. Tomislav, 23%. So Tomislav has the best chance of not having his brains blown out. Hmm. Does that give me confidence to pull the other two away and let uh, Tomislav continue his shot? <laughs> Rabbit, did you not get out of there in time? You are pulling out now. Okay. You guys. All right. Um, let's do that same thing here. Shot by... Pain. Can I hit target? 
because both of you guys are uh, by Schmidt point three eight percent chance. Okay, well in that case, let's put you right back in. I'll put you right there. You have a name. Okay, let's look at this again. Right there, to be shot by Pain. Can I hit the target? Then what is Pain aiming at? And who just had babies? Oh, they're shooting our pigs. Who just had babies? Guys. Okay. Guys, go back in. <laughs> I didn't even notice they were there. That's who they were aiming at. <sighs> and we got more pigs. Almost 30 of them now. You guys, head into the grazing zone. And let's temporarily shut down the pig's ability to even go up in there. I didn't think they would go that far. There's still other things to haul in here. Um, home zone. Let's see that. This has got home zone in it. They're going for here. This is not home zone. They're not going for here. I think home zone plays a lot bigger role in this than, uh, than we think. At least in beta 18. I'm a little not convinced there otherwise. Wild boar area. They can go anywhere. But they're choosing to go to the furthest ones rather than the ones that are closer because it's in the home zone. That's what I'm getting out of this. Um, for now, you guys are not going to be over here. I just have to remember to put you back into here. Yeah, it's all over this area. Darn it. All the stuff I'm going to have to queue back up again. But, yeah, you guys kind of stay out of here for a while. Even out of here. You can find other things to do. And let's... Well, not going to home zone that now. But I can home zone this one. You are home zone, okay. Anyway, yeah, they're about to shoot our pigs. That's going to make me a little cranky. You are aiming for... Okay, we're still going to deal with you. But what I wanted to know was... Um, Steiner. No, you aren't even trying. But if you were, you have only a 0.38 chance of hitting Rabbit. So, Rabbit, you just stay there and take him out. So, can Rabbit also hit? Let's just do this, for starters. You can hit this whole area. Okay. Can you... Shot by Rabbit, 68% chance. Shot by Rabbit, 60% chance. And 79% chance based upon their cover and whatnot. Okay, that's good to know. Now, Tomislav can shoot... What time is it? It's been an hour. Yeah, it's going to be a two-parter. The siege and then the, the attack. That's what it looks like it's going to be. Because I'm going to take my time and enjoy this. Um, Tomislav can hit... Shot by 28% chance. Can I hit target? They're the only one in range. So, the same odds of hitting each other. You two are going to have to go up. Tomislav, you're going to have to pull back to there. Going to have to happen. You aren't there yet, and you're going to pull. You guys shot. Missed. And they're going to get out of here. All right. So, you are now aiming. Okay. Your ability to hit... Rabbit is 30... 0.38%. You are watching for targets, and you're about to hit this one. Okay, because you cannot reach Rabbit. And your chance of hitting this one is only a 4% chance. We've got this structure in between. You're safe, and you, you stood down. Okay, so Rabbit, the show is yours now, right? Everybody is safe, and you have stopped, and you are working on this. Though it is ready to fire as soon as that happens. Boom! Okay, we've exchanged shots. Who is going to hit what? Missed and missed. Continue shooting. <laughs> it's this one I'm worried about. This one's actually got some skill. Is there anything else that I can do here? If I put Klaus back over here. What was that? What was that? What are you shooting at? It didn't really have a... Hmm. Don't know. Okay, you... Saw and still see. Okay. Now what do we have here? You 
have a chance of hitting Klaus of 4%. Klaus has a chance of hitting you of 31%. So a 1 in 25 chance of Klaus getting shot. You are still trying to go after Rabbit, and you guys are going to probably fire about the same time. All right, let's see what happens here. The odds are in our favor. Minor break is Michael, who I'm waiting to get another round off, and then I'll release him. He probably needs food? Needs. You just need some happiness in your life. Yeah. You're still okay. For the most part. Alright, so who shot? Right there. Going after Rabbit. And it missed completely. Rabbit, your turn. Boom. And boom. This is going in, though. That's going that way. You. That looks like it's going to hit the wall. You. Alright. We took down Pain. I didn't see where that bullet went. I want to get moving, but I kind of want to watch this. Going in. And are we about to take out Steiners? We did not. It hit the mud. All right, so with that, we'll start next time getting these four out of here. Getting Michael and Kathra kind of to shoot through with an assault rifle and trigger happy. Mm. Yeah, Shantigo, I think I need you uh, up there to help out. Yeah. I, I enjoy watching Michael shoot, but there is that risk of friendly fire with the trigger happy. But we'll worry about that next time. So it's been Noble Rambler. Thanks for watching, and we'll do it again. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.